I think for the most part, if we look at contemporary science, the situation is slightly different. This is mostly because in the 19th century, people increasingly began explicitly to exclude supernatural explanations from the realm of science. And this is the principle generally known as methodological agnosticism. So most scientists accept this as a principle, that when we do our science, we don't invoke theological explanations. And this seems to me perfectly reasonable. Um, but a consequence of this is that, to some degree, theology and science operate in, in distinct spheres. And again, I think quite properly. Um, this has also led some people to the assumption, a further assumption, that science somehow is inconsistent with theological explanations. And I think that that's the mistaken, logically mistaken assumption. Because if we start from a premise that we're going to exclude a certain set of explanations from our activity, we can't from that activity make any sorts of conclusions about theology, it seems to me. But to go back to the other question about whether in the contemporary situation religious views or convictions might contribute um, to science, I think we can answer that in two ways. It's clear to me that there are individuals who are religiously motivated to the pursuit of science, which is to say they, there are religious reasons why they might pursue this, um, this activity. Um, whether religious convictions play a substantive role, I think, is another question. And my view would be that no, they don't. And they don't for the reason that I, I mentioned previously, that for the most part, the scientific community says, for the purposes of this exercise, we're actually going to exclude theological considerations. Now, to give you the, perhaps a third angle on this, we can also say, that I think, that scientific explanations at some point come to an end and terminate, and where scientific questions end up may lead then to religious questions. And an obvious example here would be speculations about the origins of the universe. So on the scientific level, where we have, say, Big Bang Theory as the, the going explanation of our origins, it seems to me that this opens up certain theological questions about the origins of the universe. And these are not the same as the scientific questions, but it seems to me that the science can actually lead us to ask certain questions. So three parts, to, three answers to the question, I suppose. Yes, I think religious considerations in the present can play a role in motivating certain people to scientific activity. I don't think that religious uh, notions play a significant substantive role in the content of scientific activity, but nonetheless it seems that the practice and pursuit of science can leave us with questions that really belong in the sphere of theology and religion.